Hello everyone. In today's video I'm going to focus on the contour plot feature of MATCAD Prime. We are going to learn how to insert the plot in the MATCAD worksheet, what is the format of the input data that can be plotted with the contour plot and what formatting options are available. So let's get started. To insert the plot go to the plots tab, click on insert plot and select contour plot. For quick access to this feature, you can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl and 5. Let's go ahead and plot something. I have prepared here a matrix of random data points that I will use to create my plot. All I have to do is go down here in the placeholder and type in the name of the matrix. And once I click outside, the plot will automatically generate. The way information is passed to the plot from this matrix is by reading out the coordinates of each value in the matrix in terms of row and column and those will represent the x and y coordinates. The z coordinate for the plot will be the actual value stored in the matrix. So let's take for instance this value of 20 in the matrix and see where that is in the plot. So this value is positioned on the first row and the fourth column. So if we go to the plot here and look for the position 0 and 3 this is because vector matrices in MATCAD Prime start from zero. We will see that the highest point in the plot is actually plotted in this corner. In the same way, if we look at this value of four, this is positioned on fourth row and fourth column. So if I were to update this to 25, I would expect that my top right corner of the plot should update accordingly. Now that we know how to insert a plot and how to plot data with it, Let's talk about what types of data you can pass to a MATCAD contour plot. So the first type, as you've seen right now, is where the data is stored in a matrix. The second type of input would be a function of two values. So let's go here and define a function of uh, x and y. And I'm going to assign an expression to this function as x squared plus y squared. Now that we have the function defined, we can go down here and I can insert another plot by using uh, Ctrl M5, the keyboard shortcut. Uh, let's reposition the plot and rescale it. And I can put in here the name of my function. Clicking outside will generate the plot with the function that we've defined previously. Notice that in the second plot, even though the function has two arguments, when I enter the name of the function in the plot, I didn't specify the arguments. So the plot doesn't need any other information than the name of the function. Typing in the expression x squared plus y squared directly in the plot placeholder will return the same result. The third type of input data is a vector valued function. This is a function that is defined as a three element vector and each element of the vector represents the value for x, y and z axis. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to define another function, this time of u and v. And I'm going to go into the matrices and tables tab and insert a 3 by 1 vector. So for the first value, I'm going to type in u. For the second one, v. And for the third one, I'm going to type in uh, u squared minus v squared. Let's go down here. Ctrl 5 to create a new plot. Let's move it to the left and scale it a little bit. And in the placeholder, I'm going to type in the name of the new function. And there we have it. The plot has been generated. The last topic that I want to talk about is the formatting options. So if we go to the plotting tab and select one of the plots, we can see here that we have a couple of uh, options to format the plot. Things like trace color, trace thickness, but we also have some color schemes that can be applied to the plot. So let's say we want to display the first plot in a grayscale, the second plot in the topographical, and for the third plot we want to remove the colors. We want to see just the lines. I will stop here for now. You have all the information needed to get you started. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.